head. You know, again, like we were saying before, you want this to be a nice, long, brick-shaped look. This should be a level plane here. Okay, so on the Airedale head, the important thing to remember, I remember when I was in school, you know, trying to distinguish between all the different head types on all your terriers and which ones have a fall and which ones have eyebrows, which ones have a goatee, which ones have a beard. Um, on the Airedale, what you want to remember is they don't have a fall like a Kerry Blue or a soft coated Wheaton or a Lakeland Terrier where this is more one piece. You know, on the, uh, they have like a little bit of an eyebrow, but they have a lot of hair that grows in between here and blends into the beard. That would be what a fall is. Um, Sealyhams are another one that have a fall. The, um, but the Airedale has fill. The schnauzer, you would, t you would come in with your, between your eyebrows and you would clean that area out really well. But what would happen on this dog is he would look very down faced. And by that I mean from, instead of it being a nice level plane going from his top skull to his nose, you would see, you know, a definite drop from his top skull to his nose and make him look like he's really down in his face. So what you want to do here is you want to leave fill in this area. So what I like to do is, I, I, and I do all this using my, my thinning shears. So starting off, if you look at his head where he's got this stuff sticking out here on the sides and everything, I'm going to start off by really getting a nice tight tailored look to the sides of his head. And I'm going to do this with my thinning shears so that when I'm looking head on at him, there isn't anything that's going to stick out from the sides of his head. And I'm, doing, I'm following that, that line that we cut from, that we clipped in from the corner of the eye to the upper, the corner of the upper lip. Stay, up, stay. And you don't, want, you don't want to try to make like a definite line here. You want to, again, like the transition with the, the clipper work into my, my um, leg work and everything, you want to make it just look like it naturally grew this way. So this is nice and tight here on the sides. Then when it comes to his eyebrow, the, the Airedale should have a very short triangular brow. Okay, from the outside corner of his eye, and I'm, gonna, I'm using my thinning shears on this too. I like using the thinning shears on my, my Airedale eyebrows, and again, it gives them a more natural look. I, I, the, technically, this part, a lot of this part would be um, hand plucked, so I want to I want to leave a very natural look there. So I find that if I use my thinning shears in that area instead of my straight shears, it looks better. Also, if you use your straights and the dog happens to be looking the other way or just happens to wink or something like that, once you cut it with your straights, it's done, and you have a real hard line there. With your thinning shears, are a lot more forgiving, so you can kind of blend that out if you do make a mistake. Okay, now what I want to do, because I want to, I want to distinguish a difference between the eyebrows. Okay, I'm just, stop. He's got a very strong head and he's kind of pushing against me, so. They, they, so that I can distinguish the difference between the eyebrows, what I like to do at this point, because right now it just looks like one piece. So what I like to do at this point is from the inside corner of his eye, using my fingers, I'll actually pluck a thin strip going up around his eyebrow. And what this is going to do is to just give some separation and definition to his eyebrows. His hair is in there, it doesn't want to come out. I'm going to put on my little finger guards. Oh, you think that looks fun? <laughs> That's a good boy. All right, stay, stay. <laughs> So, stop. Where so, do you get those? Um, Is it a show dog? These I actually Frank? got from um, Frank Rowe. Frank Rowe and Sons at the shows. I mean, is that what they're for? Um, I, like bankers use them when yeah. they're counting money and right, stuff like that. And um, yeah. my um, my nail lady uses them. <laughs> so I'm not sure like where you buy them, but at the at the shows I always got them from Frank. Stop. Staples? Staples. Staples might have them. Yeah, because they're good for counting money. Office Max, Office Depot. I'm surprised you don't have a pair for counting money, Jay. Right. I have a wife and four kids. I don't have any <laughs> money to count. 